morning all. How are you doing today? Happy family. Hello girls. Today is Friday the 13th. Oh my god. That means something to somebody, eh? And it's September and the reading today is Luke 6 and we're in verse 40 and this is when Jesus is, teaches about judging others. Wow. Don't we judge people all the time, guys? Yeah. Mm. Every day. Every day. So, let me pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And uh, Lord, we just thank you for this wonderful day. We give all glory to you. Father, we lift you up. Papa, Abba, wonderful Father that always looks after us. And Amen. keeps us Amen. safe and does so many things in our lives. Father, we confess our, our failures, we confess our sin, we confess the things that we have done wrong to others, and we ask, Father, that you have mercy upon us, mercy that, uh, and forgiveness, Lord, we forgive, we ask for forgiveness for the things that we have done wrong. We thank you for the life that we have, we thank you for the family that we have, we thank you for the business, we thank you for our church, we thank you for our friends and family, we thank you for this country. And Lord, we pray, we keep on praying for the divine innovation. We pray for the guests coming on the weekend. Lord, we ask and pray that you would unite them and that you would bring them. And Father, whatever is in their way, let them come. Each and every single one of our guests, Lord, at Alpha. And uh, Lord, we also pray for divine innovation. And we pray continuously, Lord, that there is a, a uplifting of our church and that the, the, the ship may be turned, Lord, and that we confer continue to focus on growing the church in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so it says in the scriptures today, no disciple is superior to the teacher. But when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Wow, isn't that amazing, eh? That means that, um, and this one says here, when we read about Jesus in the Bible, we see that he didn't worry about his clothes or what he would eat. Jesus spent his time praying to his father and teaching his followers. He wanted his disciples to be like him, doing good for all people. St. John Christosom was a born about 350 years after Jesus. He became a powerful preacher and reminded people that we are called to help others as Jesus did. Some people didn't like it. They didn't like hearing that. But John kept going, reminding everyone to lead a holy, simple life like Jesus. Jesus, help me live the life you want for me. Wow. And then it says here in the notes, it says, make sure you're following the right teachers Ooh. and leaders because you will go no further than you do. Look for leaders who will show you more about faith and whose guidance you can trust. Wow. So that's saying a big thing, isn't it? Is that we should follow leaders that are going to give us guidance and trust and and that they're going to inspire us and we're going to be able to be lifted up. They're going to teach us about prayer. They're going to teach us about how to have compassion. Um, and there's so many things that we need to learn as Christians. So I think Daddy, Daddy has, to, has to learn about himself a lot every day. Because he always makes mistakes. But yet what I do want to know and want to try and better is that my life can inspire others because of what I do and because what the Lord has done in me. So girls, are you inspiring people? Are you working to show people about Jesus? Are you? And how are you doing that? Um, um, with love? 
Ooh, with love. And Becca, how do you think you're inspiring people? With the fruit of the spirit. With the fruit grace. Of, with grace. Mm. And what is grace? Mm, my granny's name. Ah, your granny's name. <laughs> wow. Do you know what grace is? Kindness, love. Mm, kind of. Kind of. To have peace. To have mm. peace. Mm, okay. Do you know what grace is? What? Grace is my granny. ultimate forgiveness. It's forgiveness that my granny's grace. She is her name is Grace, but yet God gives us grace, which means that God created you. He knows everything about you. He knows all the mistakes you're going to make and all of that. And He gives you grace, meaning He. So He gives us our granny. No, He doesn't give you your granny. Yes, He does give you your granny, but He gives you but grace, meaning grace is so much you know, more do you than know what, what a name is. Grace is. Mm. That Jesus died on the cross for our sins. That's amazing grace. That's grace. And he gives us grace, which we need to understand sometimes. Because it's Don't kill me, I'll give you a lot of grace. It's mine. You. So, Don't kill me, I'll give you Grace is God's something at Christ's expense. So basically what you're saying, when we're like, in trouble, he, we, he, God gives us our granny. Gives you grace. So, <coughs> like, when when you've done something really, really wrong, and you've and, and you've and you don't deserve forgiveness. forgiveness, or you don't deserve something, God does that. He He gives you grace. He says, "You know what, my son, I love you, and it's okay." And He says, "You know what? Let's move on together." Forgiveness. Mm. He forgives when no one else can forgive, hey? Because there are so many things that happen in this world that are that we need forgiveness for, but yet it doesn't happen. So. Wow. All right. So I mean, shall we pray? Dad, did you win this? No, I got it in my bag. Okay. okay, let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for your presence today in your mighty word. And we thank you, Lord, in Luke, that you, you talk about grace, you talk about forgiveness, you talk about being a teacher. And it says that no disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. So, Father, Lord Jesus, you are our teacher. And once we are fully trained, we are like you. And that is so amazing to know that in all this, this training that we're doing and all these things that we are, are learning, we are going to grow towards you and we're going to be like you. And may many lives be changed based the fact that we have grown to become like you. So thank you for your presence. Thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit that fills us now. We ask that you take away our wisdom, give us wisdom, give us knowledge and understanding. You take away our pride and you take away our fear. And as we continue to love you, Lord, that we we just want to say thank you for all the things that you are doing, are going to do, and all the situations in the past that you've given us grace for. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For now is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. There you go. Thank you.